Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic, your research and destruction channel. And we got some research and destruction for you guys today. So, Ballistic Dummy Labs hooked us up with these awesome ballistic fists. Now this is just gel and then it's got the skeletons inside. And what we wanted to research today was a hang fire. Now, no, we're not talking about a Rolling Stone song hang fire. We're talking about bullets. Now, what a hang fire is, is when the firing pin strikes the primer and there's a delay. Now, it can be milliseconds, it can be a few seconds, and it can be quite long. So check out this video here. This is quite a long hang fire in a shotgun, and I'm sure this guy made it on Brandon Herrera's Darwin Awards. So check this out for a second. Okay, so what we got for you guys today is we're gonna set off three different rounds into these hands. Now we, we have these different um, jigs here set up. The first round we're gonna do is show you what a 50 BMG just going off is. We got this, again, these little jigs here. This slides in, pull the pin, it should go bang. Um, there's a lot of people who have done these videos, but so you don't have to go looking for it again. We're gonna do it right here. So that will be our first shot. Our next shot is going to be a 12 gauge buckshot round. This has nine pellets in it and they go about 1400 feet per second. So that should be pretty cool. Then we are going to do, this is a 50 BMG training round. Now these are all plastic and uh, these bad boys are fast. They go about 4,000 feet per second. So we'll see if that can come apart on here. And then what we're gonna do is a 50 BMG. No, this isn't a Ralphus round. It's just a green painted uh, API round, silver tip with some green paint on it. So we're gonna see what this thing does. Okay, so for our first round, we decided what we're gonna do is we're gonna set off a 50 BMG spotter tracer. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this steel target up in front of it to see if when it goes off, does it have enough power to set off the primer that's in the front of these. So first round should be pretty cool. Here we go. All right, first round up is a spotter tracer directly into a steel plate. And again, I keep messing <laughs> with the string while Chris is down there. He's trying to kill me, people. <laughs> Am I on your life insurance yet? Insurance, <laughs> right insurance yet? No. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Whoa. Jeez, that's loud. There's debris raining down. So on the high speed, you saw it didn't set the uh, spotter tracer round off. It hit it hard, but it sent that sucker so far. Justin and I looked for about a half hour and never found it. So we have no idea and can't show you uh, what this thing looks like. But as you can see, and wow, that's gonna cut the crap out of me, I bet. Anyways, this is what it did to the round. Just destroyed it. Can Justin get it out? Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, don't, don't. Yeah, screwdriver for that. Yeah, so this will give you some uh, 
understanding of what's what's coming in the video. If you guys stay till the end of the video, we'll set off a uh, the same 12 gauge buckshot round so you can see that. So stay all the way to the end of the video. We'll have a high speed running for that for you guys. So on to the uh, first round. It'll be the 12 gauge buckshot round. Let's see what happens. All right, hopefully this setup works. We got the 12 gauge buckshot inside the hand and we're just about to pull the string. As soon as Chris gets back here, all right, hide your face. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, gross. Oh, gross. Oh, wow. That sounds awesome. <laughs> so, hey, there's a bone missing. I seen it fly up on the high speed. Here it is. <laughs> Check this out. There's some of his, the bone. Oh man, that's nasty. There's a, a pellet inside and here is the damage just blue man well that bone's gone too there's there's some more bone here that blew that pretty pretty doggone good oh here we go here it is justin so don't pick up a hang fire round you should wait at least they say like 30 seconds or eject it and don't pick it up but um <laughs> Fuck, that just fell out here we go. There's the two of the buckshot pellets still stuck in there. They didn't penetrate out this side of the hand. Oh yeah, they did. Well, there's one there, but just blew these bones completely out. That would be nasty. That would be nasty. Okay, so now we're gonna, whew, man, that's gross. <laughs> now we're gonna move on to the 50 cal training round and see how that does because that sticks all the way through the hand so here we go Grenass is stuck on the bumper Whoa. oh that oh was God. loud oh that was God. loud That was way louder than I thought. Jeez. <laughs> that was nasty. Oh my gosh. I did not think that one was gonna do more than the, than the shotgun, but check that out. So here's the, where the primer and everything sits in the back of that shell. So it just presses in, it's got those little ribs ribs good dimple but check this out just blew these hands apart still some unburnt powder in there that was awesome man <laughs> here's what it did to the shell just split it here wow this looks like the shotgun edwin destroyed <laughs> the end of it check that out folks split that hand down there now again, these fingers are all attached. Um, well, blew his thumb, God, blew, I didn't even notice that. Blew the entire thumb bone out of it. There is no bone left in that thumb. What bone is that? Pinky, pinky be gone. That's the pinky bone over there? This one? Oh, hey, gross. Um, I don't know because it's, that's the thumb. That's the thumb bone. <laughs> <laughs> so blew that. We saw on the high speed, that 
the practice round projectile went this way somewhere. Just going to see if I could find it real quick. Because I have no idea. But it's going to be very hard to find out here in the forest. Well, we'll look for it later. Chris and I want everyone to know how neat nature is. Instead of just Chris and I knowing it. <laughs> Isn't it neat? <laughs> I love that video. That thing's so funny. So I want to thank my friend Chris Rollins for giving us this idea. Check out his channel, Chris Rollins. Um, he did a video with the same high-speed camera we have uh, where he did fireworks in the hand. And the slow motion is amazing. So you can see what a firework does to your hand too. So check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, subscribe to his channel. Say you're there from Going Ballistic. Show him some love, would you guys? All right. Last round, the 50. Oh, this is going to be cool, man. So here comes the 50 BMG. And this is just an API again, painted green, blah, blah, blah. Let's do this. All right, now we're going to do the fake Ralphus into the hand. And this one should produce some pretty decent shrapnel. I would know from experience, dude. I shouldn't be messing with the string while Chris is literally right next to it. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm just getting things ready. Hang on, hang on. Don't move. I'm a big helper. Okay, let her fly. All right. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Debris went everywhere on that one. Still down. No way. <laughs> She's a beaut. Oh, wow. Holy crap. That's why you got to go look up Soldier uses 50 BMG round as a hammer. That is what it really does. It destroyed this hand. That was cool. It hit this so hard you can see the indention well i can't turn it but right here justin it hit right there so hard left some pain in there so still hits it pretty good and um just peeled <laughs> everything off of this so here's some more more of the hand uh oh here's the casing there you go. Still some unburnt powder in it. That came apart bad. So there was one person who said, <laughs> oh, if you hit that primer, it's just going to burn the hand because it doesn't blow up in your gun. Well, it's surrounded by a barrel. That's why they don't blow up. But when they're not, this is what happens. Uh, oh, we'd seen... On one of the cameras, here's a projectile. <laughs> yeah, we can still use it. I just need to reload it in something. That's awesome. Another finger. Parts of fingers. Well, there you go, folks. That is what happens if a hang fire round, if you have a hang fire and you go to pick it up. Uh, don't. Just leave it on the ground for a while at least 30 seconds just eject it and move on so i'd like to thank ballistic dummy labs again for sending us these out um, if you need anything there's a link in the description below on ballistic dummy labs and it helps our channel out a little bit too so anything ballistic that you need again from fist to full bodies they got it for you thanks to my buddy chris rollins don't forget to check out his channel don't forget to check out our Instagram page. We love you guys, and we'll be back.